I don't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like we are a weird shop, so we always. This looks twenty dollars for the scroll, and you're eighty dollars for the Sentinel. I don't know if you guys can see that from the glare. There's two scrolls, and forty dollars for the Frost Giant. All right, they did a lot of organizing. There's more stuff. Thor, of course we've seen this, and we've seen this come back. Speedball, Madam Hydra. Of course we got cases of these. This is really calling to me. So is this one, just cause I, I'm just a dumbass for wanting to finish a build a figure and that I don't need. So <laughs> there you go. There's more here, more here. There's Commander Rogers back there too, Rogue Legacy. Ton of the Jada toy cars, that's, hey, if you like that stuff, that's awesome. Dungeons. I'm surprised this store didn't get any of the Dungeons and Dragons exclusives. Maybe they did and I just missed it. Okay, oh, there's more here. Black Adam still hanging around. More Dungeons and Dragons. More Fortnite. Um, Star Wars Retro and Mission Fleet. Now, while I was looking here, I just glanced over and they did get this in. But there's only one, which I don't need it. I'm just saying, I, that's awesome. My, my store got this in, that's cool. Um, hey, I, I, I got it at a discount, I think through Hasbro Pulse, but Damn, new stuff. Always cool to see new stuff. All the Modocs are here. Look at this. Always good to check. There's that Naruto statue for $15, which isn't bad. It's a nice size statue. But here, look, they got Leo for $25. They did have Raph. Yeah, pretty cool, $25. Bucks. Not a bad deal. Uh, oh my god, there's Leo right here. No way. I wonder if he's cheaper. I'm gonna scan it. We'll find out. Nope, it's not. It is actually $35. So it's probably... Well, I know that says Tatsu, but it's 35 bucks. First glance, so... Oh wait, there is Legend. My hand isn't free, so I'm gonna just use this. Look at this. Wow. Never thought I'd see that in stores again. I wonder if it's on clearance. Mm. You guys are here too. And same old stuff. Ronin, none of the newer stuff though. Look at this. Um, I guess somewhat new. Look, there's a, a regular Chun Li. Ah, oh, man. Still nothing here. Still here. Look at this. Oh, oh, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. And then the second one. 
Are you serious right now? Okay, that's insane. Reverse flash, two Batman Beyonds. I've found the Sportsmaster before. That's crazy. Sale's still going on, so. I already used this one. I gotta see if, you know, any of the new GI Joes come in and thing, but this is, this is it. You're new. Darth Maul. I don't care for this, but that's new. This is a brand new wave, and it's already here. Oh man, they're cleaning up. They're cleaning up, they're doing something, so it's organized. at all of these and I found another platinum <laughs> yeah so all the clearance tags are gone here Oof. okay so that means they cleaned out things are gone Ooh, look at this oh from the Netflix show I do want to watch that Ooh, that looks nice okay Entry grade, and there's more of these, which they should be there. And then figure arts, all this other stuff. Yeah, okay. If we look at the tags though, Demon Slayer, Blind Bag, Bag Clips, Jujutsu Kaisen. Hmm. I don't really see Rookie and Mr. Bloom. That has its spot now. The Joker Mobile. The Super 7 Cyborg Batmobile. Yep. I could have sworn I just talked about these two on my live stream the other night. And look, they're right here. Didn't realize they'd be out so soon. There you go. Beachhead's here. Duke. There's a torch. Got a stack of these. This. Nice and neat. All right. Howard. Karak. Yeah. Uh, look at this. They got this in. They got more Jacksons in. Very cool. Ah, there's so much of this Black Panther Wakanda forever. Okay, now we're talking here. Yes, look how awesome that looks. Oh my God. Four, they just put it out. They just put these out. That's very cool. I'm gonna use that $10 off too. That's what's gonna be so good about this. Gotta pick the right paint. These are still here too. Someone took the other ones that I kind of put back in place. <laughs> so since this is a new day, they might have put out new stuff here too. Yeah, look, there's Kurt Angle, Farouk, a new Hogan. Uh, that's cool, that's very cool. And, oh yeah, these are the exclusives. Very nice. Very, very nice. And, oh yep, they got Cobb. And they have the new pay-per-view limited edition Hangman. Don't need, but that's, hey. Nice that they're putting out newer stuff, but mm, they put out too many of the same characters over and over again. But, new Star Wars, some clearance. 6.59 and there's a Big Bubba Rogers 6.89 so I did find them look at that there's more two three Sportsmaster still here good lord 
And then, of course, we've got two Batmans. Look at that. More and more and more and more and more. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. But this, this was the biggest purchase. Look at all that soil. Oh my God, I got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. All right. I'd say it's been about two weeks since I've been here. Maybe. Let's find out. Much, much better. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome back. Thank you for watching the toy hunt. As always, there's definitely some newer stuff showing up, which is incredible. It's nice to see. It is the fall season, so we know we're going to be seeing a lot of new G.I. Joe, a lot of new Marvel Legends. Some of it may not be in, like, Walmart or Target. Maybe you'll see them at GameStop, but of course you'll always see them online. But it's always fun to hunt these things down. At the same time, we're still hitting up like Ross and Ollie's and things like that, just to see what newish type of figures is going to just suddenly show up there. That's that's the thrill of the of what can it be of what you don't know the unexpected. So we're we're always gonna check. We're always gonna check. We'll see what's there, and hopefully, whatever we find, we all communicate with that to each other, and we'll see what happens from there on. But. This was pretty good. There was some new stuff showing up at Target. Uh, Walmart, eh, so some, there, I'm always finding new wrestling and new Star Wars at Walmart, in my stores at least. Never seeing any new Marvel Legends there. It's, it's a shame, unfortunately. But maybe that's just because there's, I mean, the last thing I saw was what? The Iron Man wave at um, the Retro Carter wave. So we already took care of that wave. But it's nice to see, you know, stuff at Target with the sale that has been going on because it was the what the the spend over forty dollars save ten bucks, spend over seventy five dollars save twenty bucks, great deal. I hope everyone was able to find or buy online what they could have gotten. I mean, you guys know I was able to to uh, get a great deal and based upon pickups you guys kind of know what that is but this was the deal that i did get through the target app and i was just waiting for that shipment to arrive that and last the last couple of days you know i did receive venom because they split the shipment so we got venom venom's is nice didn't open it yet i know it's just a repack with new accessories and i I think a newer I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I used to have this figure, like I said before. Uh, so nice to have it back. It's all right. It's not too bad. So we'll play with that. Um, but here is the other package that was expected. So what was in here was Phoenix. Can you believe that price? Man, that $75 threshold to get 20 bucks off. Man, 20 bucks. Hell yes, 20 bucks for that. And this figure, the figure, I only never saw it in stores, saw it at RetroCon. Uh, if you guys remember my RetroCon video, but here is Carnage. Carnage. Terrible movie. I did not like the movie at all. Uh, to each their own in regards to this Venom franchise. Um, but this. <laughs> But the look of this Carnage is pretty awesome. This is a huge character. And I love all the, the tendrils and the weapons. And of course we got alternate heads too. So hopefully the paint job is done pretty well. I mean, look at the size of this thing. That is pretty, pretty big. Not too bad. So two figures from the Let There Be Carnage. I, I mean, that's not bad. And I these were what, 20 bucks from from my order so hell yes this is $34.99 also I know you know what this was this supposed to be 40 bucks or 50 bucks something like that I forget but Target's price was $34.99 that that's insane so I'm glad we got them on really good deals especially Phoenix Phoenix $50 price got it for 20 god damn that's that's awesome 
let's continue on with packages because this, this, look at this, this is thin. There's no figure in here, but this was a Kickstarter. This was a Kickstarter by Clover Press um, because they were doing the art of David Nakayama. And I absolutely enjoy David Nakayama's art. I have a ton of comic variant covers of David Nakayama. And if you guys have been following me long enough, you may have seen me do pickups of David Nakayama's uh, cover art. But I did get the book here, which I did open. There's quite a, there's, there's a few things. I didn't get a lot of the extras. Um, I just kind of sampled them, but outside of that, there, yeah, there's a couple things. Um, this is, this was it. This was the art of David Nakayama. And as you can see, Clover Press. Uh, they had a little, like little trading card type thing there. Look at, look at magic right there, man. She, he, he does some really cool stuff. I did get a sticker pack, which is actually pretty damn nice. Look at that. Uh, but here is, here is the book. Nice slip cover. Awesome. I love, I love the color bleed pages. These are nice. Uh, but this is a wonderful, wonderful book. Look at the red. That is nice. We got the front cover, which was, I think, was an X-Men 97 cover. I think this was the X-Men 97 cover. This was the Spider-Gwen cover, um, which, uh, this, yeah, this was all the alternate universes things. But this is a beautiful, beautiful book of so much of his, you know, cover art. Absolutely wonderful. Some of the stuff is like much, much in his original work that I've never seen before. So this, this is amazing. But yeah, this is a great pickup. Now this would be an unusual pickup. And the reason why I say this is because this was from my local comic shop, which went to Cyborg One. And as much as they have some new, some old, uh, they, they will always carry Diamond Select stuff. They've always been carrying Gundam stuff. Uh, so I'm always happy to see cool things there. They had that Yolo Park Megatron, which I was very, very tempted to get. I don't know yet though, cause uh, they were pricing it at like 80 or $85. I know that's much higher, but then again, I don't think you can get that online anymore. So that might be something that I might keep an eye on, but I'm not really all like, yeah, I gotta go get it. But there were, they, they had, <laughs> They just bought someone's Marvel Universe collection. And if you don't know, Marvel Universe was the three and three quarter Marvel figures. It was enormous. There was peg hooks of so many figures. Uh, I know I didn't really show that in the video because I, I, I didn't realize I didn't record it. But in the glass case were a much larger figures from Marvel Universe. You know, the stuff that the Sentinels, you know, those were like the electronic Sentinels, things like that. But the Sentinels can work for Marvel Legends. But they did have other things. They had the two Giant Man, um, Black Giant and the one in the blue and yellow. Then they had two scrolls, a Frost Giant. It was insane. I left them there, but I went back just to see. And I got, they still had the Sentinels. And they still had the giant man, but they only had one scroll. So I did pick up the scroll and I am happy I did. I've really never seen these in toy shows, but to have like a larger scale scroll, I think this is like a 12 inch figure. These will work very nicely in the collection because the 12 inch figures, they work so i think they work so well with with um marvel legends and this was only 20 dollars, which is incredible now granted you know sculpts are still good the um articulation is you know this was this <laughs> very limited uh, but it's still very good i mean the ball hips yeah these old ball hips can't can't do much for them but I did get a black giant. Look at this. This is awesome. 
Very cool. Now, he does have some scuff marks. There are some scuff marks on him. But to have this version on the shelf with the others, that's very cool. I could be tempted to go back and get the blue and yellow, which would be pretty cool. But hey, this is nice. This is still really nice. Uh, this was 40, by the way. Uh, I guess based upon character and things like that versus, you know, just a basic scroll figure. But damn, these would be really nice. Really nice on the shelf. So I did pick them up. I definitely picked them up. Let me know. Were these good prices? I think these are good prices. I, I even talked it over with laser pants. These are very good prices. So let me know. Do you guys have these? Was it worth it for me to get? At least for me and my collection, I believe so. But what are your thoughts on these? And then the last pickup, very 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 cool um i didn't think i would find this one as early as i did but i'm glad i was able to we found road pig look at that road pig ruckus oh god look at that dog that pit bull beautiful this is a cool ass looking figure i i'm my knowledge on the dreadnoughts are very very minimal so i was not familiar with road pig but when they showcased them, that was definitely a cool pickup. And of course, I used, because it was still going on, I used the uh, $10 off circle price. So you can see that right there for $34.99. That's a better deal, to be honest, than the $44.99. I don't know how long these may last on the shelf. We all know that Naga Hide kind of last a little bit, but in my area, Naga Hide did not last. So I was not able to get them at the clearance price. So this is still a very good pickup for the price that we got them for. For just coming out too. That's pretty awesome. So did you guys get this on sale too? Because I hope you guys did. That's a great pickup for $10 off. All right, there you have it. That is the toy hunt. That is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys have been finding. As always, I love to hear what you guys are finding because we all want to make sure we can pick up some of this stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. We're moving up almost at 7,000. We're almost at 6,500. So that is a big deal. So there you go. Thank you guys so much. For helping me move that number i greatly appreciate it this weekend this upcoming weekend it is comic-con new york comic-con i will be there the entire weekend i will be leaving on wednesday so I'll, I'll be start you know trying to push out some of the content starting on thursday so let me know what you guys may be wanting to see over there i would love to hear your thoughts on it but thank you guys again hope to see you soon and hope to see you on the next hunt